Good afternoon, parents and guardians. By the time many of you are watching this, I'll be in the Northern Territory, visiting a remote Aboriginal community with three colleagues and 11 Year 10 students. We will be working in the local school called Nooka, uh, working with local teachers and students, and outside of ours, we'll complete community service both within the school and the local community. As I reflect on Term 3, I have a great sense of pride and achievement across the college. Over recent weeks, many of you have seen the return of significant events, including House Performing Arts, College Production, Book Week, and Father's Day, just to name a few. House Performing Arts last week was outstanding, with high student participation and a willingness to sing and dance in front of many of their peers, staff, and parents. It was great to see and to be part of again. I'd like to recognise and thank the amazing heads of house and house captains across all areas of the college in supporting and leading their students and peers. Staff participation was high and I thank all the staff for actively involving themselves and leading by example with all our students. This term we saw the return of many year level camps, excursion and sporting events. For the first time I believe uh, post COVID shutdowns we have seen some normality return to school life. Student enrolments in the kinder, prep and year seven, again, um, have followed many of the uh, information sessions that have ran, have been high enrolment numbers. Uh, they look strong again for 2023 um, and extensive positive feedback around the opportunities has been something that we have heard consistently across all areas of the college. Amongst the multitude of achievements of students throughout the term, behind the scenes, Term 3 is, uh, requires a huge amount of planning, preparing and documenting for the structures um, for the college in 2023. This process is extremely complex within the context of a K-12 college, requiring ongoing reflection and consultation with the College Council and all of school staff through our consultation processes. I would like to thank all members of the college leadership team for their ongoing leadership and guidance for both your areas and for the college as a whole throughout the term. Additionally, I would like to take the opportunity to thank all of the dedicated staff of the college for their professionalism uh, in supporting all students in all aspects of college life. Staff shortages have again continued to provide additional challenges on a daily basis, but due to the commitment and support amongst all staff, we have managed in the most effective way. Can I respectfully remind all parents about the mobile phone policy? Students must store their mobile phones in their locker during school hours. This is an area we'll be more vigilant on next term, and I seek parent support of this expectation, please. Term four sees a return to the summer uniform for all students. Fingers crossed the weather improves significantly over the school holiday period. PSW have informed me that stocks are plentiful uh, for those requiring additional clothing items. I certainly need to take this opportunity to uh, um, congratulate all our Year 12s on their efforts so far. You are in your final weeks of study and revision. Continue to apply yourself over the school holiday period and the few weeks prior to exams. Continue to seek teacher support at all opportunities and ensure that you have a balance in your study and downtime. I'd like to wish all students good luck in their parent-teacher interviews. Use this time effectively to take on teacher feedback to ensure you complete term four, maximising your full potential and achieving your best outcomes. I wish all students, parents and staff a successful, safe and healthy term break.